subscribe. Russell Envy here, back with another video about the Upland Metaverse. And in this video, we are talking about stealth hunts. I have a video over on my YouTube channel, which is Russell E-N-V-Y. Go over to youtube.com slash Russell E-N-V-Y and you can go to my videos here and I have a two hour tips and tricks video all about treasure hunting, but I never covered, I believe, stealth hunts. I know I said I was going to, but I really haven't had the chance to record a proper stealth hunt until earlier today, and that is why I'm making this video. We're going to go into a lot of it because sometimes stealth hunts can be confusing. I think they're pretty simple once I uh, somebody explains it to you so let's dive into this of course please come follow me over here on twitter russell envy or subscribe to my youtube channel you can also get me over on reddit find me on discord you know things like that so there was actually a treasure the other day that i got and it was found in two seconds check this out this was in san francisco i basically my little block explorer was on top of the property that had this treasure on it and it was a riot mode because you see the cool little fun dude here so i didn't have to send my block explorer anywhere i want a free exclusive treasure in san francisco and it was double the price because it was in riot mode and I found this in two seconds. My previous record was eight seconds, and I actually have that here. I found this in eight seconds. Uh, but so my new one, two seconds, pretty cool. Uh, so what are we talking about when we talk about stealth hunts? Uh, there's something here. When you go into the little menu button, you'll see where it says treasures. So this is your treasure tab, and it will tell you there, there are a couple treasure tiers here, but what we're looking for is where it says classic. It's either going to say classic or it's going to say stealth. Now, the only one that will say stealth is this orange right here. Purple is always going to be classic, and the difference between the classic and the stealth is that the classic will always give you the arrows. So as soon as this thing counts down and it goes, you know, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... What you're going to do is you're going to have your treasures already turned on. Go to any property that is really close to where your block explorer or where your tail is. Click on it and hit treasures and you'll see that this little treasure thing comes up. Now we have the treasures activated. So when it goes 3, 2, 1 and the treasure uh, starts, you click on a property and a classic is just going to show you. You're going to see the little arrows pointing telling you where to go. Uh, stealth hunt when you click here it's gonna say one hint hidden you'll see my video here in a second uh, you'll see every time I send to one of my properties that's all that you you see but eventually the point is is that with a stealth hunt somewhere in the city is this treasure and what you need to do is you need to get your block explorer to be within a certain range of the treasure. Now, I believe the one in the video that I'm about to show you, it's somewhere up in here. It's actually, I believe, somewhere up by Oak or uh, what is this? Hate Street. Hate Ashbury is a pretty popular street right here. Cool, cool, cool. So I do believe that this is where I found it. Uh, I'll show you exactly where in the video. But so. Uh, what you, you know, let's say that I found it up here, right? I found it in, I believe this is where I found it in, or on this oak place. So I sent my block explorer like right here within Cole Street and Waller. And then I, I see like the little red arrows. It pointed me which way I needed to go. So with a stealth hunt, you know, the easiest way to say it is, when the treasure hunt is going on, you need to send to each one of your locations just by clicking send to confirm. This is why it's great to have a web, as some people call it. You know, here's my web in San Francisco. 
I've got three properties up here. I've got a pretty good spread across the west part of San Francisco. I've got a pretty decent spread. I don't have anything covering here, but I have a pretty good spread of here. I don't have North San Francisco covered because this is where a lot of the collections are. This is where a lot of the money is, uh, but I'm making, I'm making strides. Definitely, you know, maybe take this 121,000 and buy something over here. Maybe we'll see. But so stealth hunts, what you're going to do is you're going to send your block explorer all over. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to turn the words where it says one hint hidden into the arrow. So let's dive into this. Let's get in here. I'm going to bring this on screen. Let's lower it just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this was from earlier. So this is where I was. I was in the south of town here, and I already had a unicorn treasure that I found. I just hadn't collected it, uh, and it was sitting right here. But the first thing that I do with a stealth tour is I want to see where I am. So what I mean by that is, like, look here. I just sent my block explorer to this property, so I know that I'm within here. But with a stealth hunt, what you actually want to do is you want to get your block explorer somewhere where you don't have a property. The reason why is that's where I'm going to start. So I had to collect sends. So let's say like I needed a couple sends. I would actually look for sends where I don't have property. So like up here. Uh, I would actually come over here. I would try to see if I could find an arrow. And then if I could find an arrow or, or an airplane, sorry, I would send my block explorer to go collect that airplane. But I would start my stealth tour up here. So then when it starts, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on my treasure. I'm going to enable it. But I'm going to see if I'm within the location of the tour so uh when when i start my classic tours or my, my treasure sorry i usually start right here at this one property on uh, elizabeth and douglas but like i said when it comes to stealth you you can either start on your property or you can you know start where somewhere where you're not and i usually like to start where i'm not so you can see here in this video i'm gonna go ahead and click play one of the first things I like to do is I like to see how much time I have. So you can see when we bring the video back here for a second, right here underneath this timer, it actually says stealth underneath here. So that word classic will turn to stealth and it'll say underneath here. In fact, let's see if we can find a stealth real quick. Let's go to, uh, we don't have one here, but let's go to, that's the wrong one. So let's go to Manhattan. That says classic. Let's go to Brooklyn. See right here where it says stealth. So this is how you can tell. Uh, so the next thing coming up in Brooklyn for this one player here is a stealth treasure hunt coming up. And hopefully you're watching this video and I'm going to show you how to find it. So I like to see how much time I have. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click how many sends I have. So you click on your block explorer. You click on the little paper airplane icon. And it shows you right here how many sends I have. I participated in the La La Land tour. So at the time of checking this, when I recorded this video, I had already received my sends to go participate in the tour. Uh, but normally this will say 8, 9, 10, 11, you know, however many sends you have. But so I like to check how much time do I have on the clock? Let's bring it up one more time. So I've got a minute and 10 seconds. All right, cool. So then I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to click on my Explorer, click on the airplane. I have 26 sends. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this here for a second. I'm going to post that over on Twitter. Another reason why you should follow me over on Twitter. But look here. Let's see how close I am to this property. So see, I'm actually clicking on the treasure tab here. Let's go back for a second. So when 
where my block explorer is, this is the closest property to my block explorer. So I'm trying to see if I'm in range here. Now, if I'm in range for this, what I'm actually going to do is see, I'm trying to start here. I don't have a property. This is over in the south of town. Let me show you. It's actually starting right down here in Egbert. This is where it was. So my little block explorer was somewhere here. And I didn't, you know, there's there's no land to send to. So this was the closest one. So I hit treasure. And then I wasn't within the distance. And you'll see here that as we play this, um, again, looking at the time. Okay, I've only got a, uh, 38 seconds here. Let's see if I can get my block explorer to get within range here, right? So we still haven't even started the stealth hunt. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out where am I going to start? Am I going to start here? Do I think this block explorer is going to cross this property to bring up the icon for me? So as I'm looking around, I notice I've only got 10 seconds. I'm going to abort from where I'm at and I'm going to send to uh, this location here, which is right on Ellsworth. So I send. So at this point, here's what we're going to do is we're going to rewind and there it is. So when the stealth hunt kicks off, see how it says one hint hidden. So this is what we're looking for. When you are within the area of the stealth hunt treasure, this is going to turn into the arrows. So we've got a couple minutes here that this is going to play. What I want you to notice is how I'm doing this uh, treasure hunt. I'm going to talk a little bit, but mostly I just want you to watch the video and see how I go about searching my entire web of properties looking for this stealth hunt. So coming back here, let's rewind just a, a, a couple seconds, right? We'll rewind. We'll rewind. All right. So we aborted from this place and I decided, all right, let's go check my property. So I'm going to send over here to Ellsworth. I'm going to hit send. My little block explorer comes in. And I already have my treasure tab turned on. And it said one hint hidden. Okay. Let's go find it. So now I'm going to send to another property. You have to get your block explorer to the area. Click on a property. And it says one hint hidden again. Now I do move a little fast because... Uh, sometimes, especially in a city like San Francisco, uh, treasures go by pretty quick. Uh, I found this one, I, I believe, within a couple of minutes, but that was for a stealth hunt. But usually all the other hunts, they go by within less than a minute. So I am trying to hurry or I am trying to move with a quickness when it comes to uh, stealth hunts here. So you know, mostly I've got my brain trained to look for this and it's always going to show you above the card. So, you know, that's another thing to notice is as we start going through our web of properties, it says one hint hidden here and until it starts showing us the arrows. All right. So it wasn't at those three properties. Let's come over here to DeSoto. We're going to hit send. Same thing. Click on a property. One hint hidden. Okay, no problem. Where are we going next? Let's try the west side. So we're going to come over here to 39th. Hit ascend. Let's see. One hint hidden. Oh my god. I know, right? I always like to look at the places where I'm clicking on. So obviously I'm going to send to my block explorer. Or I'm um, sorry. I'm going to send my block explorer to a property. But see, I'm actually clicking on somebody else's property to try to get this to come up. So I'm going to click here. Bring it in over here. And I'm going to click on this property, which is elect uh, Electica, something like that. Let's come up here. But I do like to look at in-game names. DJ Ribs. It's pretty funny. Let's click here. Again, we're looking for a stealth hunt, so one hint hidden. Nothing in the south, nothing in the west. Let's try the north side. 
I actually get mad at myself here because I just did that. So if, if uh, you know, while I was talking, what I was doing is I was trying to send my block explorer to my property and I accidentally clicked the one above me. So I have to back out of this and now I have to click send. So, you know, again, in the sake of time, you don't want to be wasting a lot of time. Uh, and probably one of my favorite names right here that I'm looking for, Smokahontas, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, but you can see that as I'm clicking around, I am looking for those arrows. So again, Stealth Hunt, not really finding anything at this point. I am kind of a little disappointed that I just wasted a couple seconds clicking on the wrong property. And I'm starting to get a little frustrated here because it, it appears none of my properties are within the stealth hunt treasure area so click here again one hint hidden great let's go to this now i do want to show you something that i have noticed this is my little uh tip for treasure hunting here is um uh, especially when you're in stealth hunts you know you properties that are pretty close to each other you're not going to want to send to each one of these. The, the the likelihood of this property here and this property here, like the likelihood of them not being in the same uh, area as the, the pinata or whatever you're going to collect is probably uh, not uh, in your favor. So what I'm saying is like, you know, you're not going to want to check both of these because they're both within the close proximity that like, if this one is going to pick up on it, this one probably too is going to pick up on it. Uh, however, I, I did notice that it is possible for, uh, this property to be within a southern area and then these two properties will still show the one hint hidden area so I have been sending to these properties uh, one two three at a time but if you're in a place like Chicago or LA and you have like an entire street you don't need to send to the entire street if it's not in this area like if it's not within this one property it's not within like a pretty good size here. So I would, you know, focus on moving on. But you'll see here in the video, uh, I do send to all three of these properties right here that's in the north. This is my last one, Clay. So I send here, again, click on one hint hidden, nothing. And then, all right, I have to go to my last property. This is the last one in my web. Elizabeth Street. This is where I usually start every treasure hunt. And it says one hint hidden. So now I'm thinking, where do I go? Right? I just sent, you just saw me here. I sent to all my properties. I started here and then I went down to my, my southern property here. Then I went here, here. Then we checked the west. Then we checked up top and we came down here. So then you know, I really, really wanted to win this treasure. And by this point, you know, we started this video and we're four minutes into this hunt, right? Like this is going to show you Presidio. It's coming to, to here like this. So we're going to send. Yeah, see, we're four minutes into this treasure hunt. And I'm thinking to myself, well, somebody still hasn't found it. That means that it's probably in a pretty good hidden area. So I like to do this thing in my head where I keep track of hot spots. So specifically in San Francisco, one of the hot spots is down here. There's usually a lot of treasures that you can find in this area. Another good area is over here down by uh, Sloat or by Ocean Avenue. This is a little hidden area. Uh, but you'll see here in the video, I got very, very lucky. So I, I, I'm thinking to myself, where am I going to send? I started from here. I went around the map. Oh, I have an idea. So I zoom out and I send right here. So let's click on, on I'm on Cole and Frederick Street. So we're going to move the video over. We'll come down. Here's Cole and Frederick. So I'm... I'm sending here, and I do think that there was an airplane in the video, but so I'm sending 
right in this area. So this is another hot spot of San Francisco where stealth modes usually can be found. So I'm going to send to a property here. You'll see I send to 768 coal, which is the, the player Cheery. So I send here and look. Boom. Just like that. Thank you, Kaiser12, for your property. But see how it doesn't say one hint hidden anymore? See where it shows me the arrow? So that's what a stealth hunt is doing. When, when you go to one of these properties... It's going to say one hint hidden until you get within a certain distance. Once you get within a certain distance here. So uh, let's go here. So now we'll try this. I'm going to go ahead and hit send. So we sent from that property on Cole Street. So it told me it was in this general direction. And now I'm closer because it was showing me white arrows. Now it's showing me red arrows. So now all I got to do is just figure out where this little thing is. So now we click on Oak Street. Let's get up here to Oak Street and I click here. And now it's telling me, look, now I'm really close. Now I'm really close. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to find out now... Sometimes, uh, I, I mentioned this in my treasure video, the two-hour tips and tricks, but just because you are your block explorer is over here more, usually it will show you a couple properties away where the treasure could be. So you could see here, I'm clicking on this green property, and I sent to this property, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see, all right, from where I am and where this is telling me, I'm trying to click on one of these properties to see if I can bring up the, the treasure arrow. So obviously, when I click on these properties, it's not telling me where I need to go, but I'm very close within uh, my place, so I go right over here, and look at this. Bam, there we go. There is another pinata, another unicorn, and I actually realized this when I zoom out. You'll see here, I'm trying not to click on it, but I, now I've got two unicorn pinatas that I need to catch in order to bring in some more epics. But look at this. That was a standard, uh, or not a standard hunt, that was a stealth hunt, right? Now, this one took me a few minutes to find. I sent to every property that I have in San Francisco. No dice. So then I decided, okay, let's go to a well-known place. I went to the first place I thought of, which was up here in the middle. There it is. I even took a screenshot because I post this again over on Twitter, I got another screenshot because I want to uh, make this my Twitter profile image. I like to update that very uh, often. But so you can see, here is my treasure. Here's my prize. And yeah, that is exactly how you do a stealth hunt here. So, you know, next time when you see a treasure and see where it says right here, you know, stealth hunt, uh, you know, now you know what to do when it comes to your stealth hunts, which again, you want to, wherever you are, find your block explorer, click on a property, enable your treasure, and then that's where, you know, when, when the countdown clock starts and you see that the treasure's active, this is where you'll see that one hint hidden. Now, I've been getting very lucky with the stealth hunts and I've actually been hunting more on my desktop instead of my mobile phone except when I have uh, multiple pinatas going because then I want to get specific and try not to touch the screen too much and sometimes I feel like I'm going to over click or I'm going to click on the little pinata so now while I'm trying to find a, a treasure I've got to go through the process of claiming the prize first so I try not to do that so I try not to hunt too much on my desktop but when it comes to stealth it's actually a little easier sometimes and not only that but because you know when you drop into the area again we were right here on Frederick and Cole you know like when you come into the area I clicked somewhere around here 
you know you can zoom out and you get a pretty good I idea so here's your block explorer and it was telling me to go up so that's when i just decided all right we're going to go here to somewhere on clayton and then i went somewhere up here on oak but then this was the property i sent to and then this was the winning property i sent here you can actually see i was the last person to send to here but that's where i got that pinata and if you are wondering you can go to the history tab and you can see you have to scroll back but so this pinata let's go back let's go back so right here I found it three minutes from recharge and I collected two dollars and thirteen cents from it. Ta-da! Welcome to Stealth Hunts where the points are made up and the points don't matter. No, I'm just kidding, that's whose line it is anyways. Uh stealth hunts, you know, sometimes they're worth it, sometimes they're not, but you always get, you know, usually the bigger prize when it comes to your treasure instead of going for the limited. I only hunt the exclusives. I've been doing a lot more stealth hunts now that uh, I have a pretty good map here in San Francisco. I have a pretty good map also over here in Chicago. You can see uh, I'm pretty spread out. I'm pretty diverse. I've got some holes definitely that's for sure as you zoom in you can see less of the holes that I have uh, but I've got a pretty good map and I'm actually I think Chicago is the city that I have the most property in and right now while the floor is super cheap meanwhile I've got a video on how to find the floor over here on my YouTube video but while the floor is super cheap I'm gonna go try to pick myself up some Chicago uh, locations especially like where these holes are and I'm gonna see if I can get uh, a good deal but I'm gonna try to hunt more spark I think I'm gonna stop hunting as much of the exclusives and competing in some of these and I think I'm just gonna focus a lot of what I'm doing uh, into spark and I'll tell you why in the next video for now my name is Russell Envy please come follow me over here on Twitter Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet to the channel. Like always, have fun hunting in the Upland Metaverse. Subscribe.